but uh, 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 uh. let me just start over rewind Brr. good evening y'all welcome back again to another video of dating and dining miami Casa de la mena so i'm gonna just get started because i already done started <laughs> so today i am just going to go over a quick and easy recipe on how to make cheese and chili dip with your own tortilla chips you do not have to get gluten free or anything like that this is super easy and quick and fast so we already have our onion cut up on low heat and with this onion being cut up on low heat, we're just going to allow the onions to saute. And then I'm going to go ahead and add a teaspoon of minced garlic to this. And then I'm going to go ahead and season my ground beef. And then we'll start cutting up the chicken. And then the next step is you're going to take your tortilla and then you're going to cut it in the middle and the center and then on the side. And that's how you're going to make your chips. So you just cut it down. Boom. See how perfect that is? And I got my knives from Ikea. Disregard my little napkin. This is just a little hard to film, but y'all get it. I'm filming with one here now. Perfect. And just make sure you're doing this on a clean counter like so. And you see, this is the perfect chip. Now, this oil is ready to go, but I'm gonna turn it down. I do not want it to burn. Look, let me add some chips so you can see how fast this is gonna cook. But before I do so, let me get my area set up. Okay, so now we're just going to go ahead and add the chips, just like so. And you want to move fast because these chips cook really fast. And when your chips are crispy and ready to come out of the oil, you're just going to set it to the side in your strainer with a napkin. And you can just go ahead and squeeze some lime juice over your um fresh chips and some fresh cracked himalayan salt and look see how fast they're cooking so i'll be back once i'm done cooking all my chips and then we can go ahead and get started on how we're going to make our chili cheese dip our super easy chili cheese dip. Look at these beautiful chips. All done. Now I just have to cook the rest of the batch. So now we are going to add our ground beef to our caramelized onions and browned garlic. Just like so. You see how beautiful our chips are becoming? Now we're going to turn up the heat. We have our last bit of the chips going here. Now we're going to turn up the heat in our ground beef and caramelized onions and garlic. We're going to add in, sorry for the shaking, a couple of shakes of paprika. I just thought it would be better so you guys can see me this way. So we're going to add in some paprika, um, some Himalayan salt. So you like eating? Let's check on our chips. Ooh, a little flip there. Just go ahead and flip them over. Make sure they don't burn. These chips are pretty much done. Yeah, they're done. See how fast and easy that was? Making those chips.
perfect. And you're gonna cut down. I mean, cut off your oil. So yes, we're gonna add some Himalayan salt. Then you're gonna go ahead and add in your chili powder. And garlic powder. And last but not least, you want to add in some taco seasoning. I'm gonna go ahead and go in with half of the McCormick mild taco spices. And I'm gonna add a little bit of pepper flake to this. And then once we get our seasoning down, we're going to go ahead and add in our beans and cheese. Let's go ahead and give this a stir. And again, this is chili, so you want this to break down. Go ahead and add a little couple more shakes of chili powder in there. All I like to do because I don't know, like for some reason when I taste um salty food, I mean not salty, spicy food, like I really want to feel like a like you know how buffalo sauce is, like I want spice and kick. So let me just go ahead and add the rest of this taco packet in there. And then we're going to go ahead and add in our beans. We're also going to transfer this over to, um, once we get the chili base down, I'm going to add a little bit of water. And we're going to add some cheeses so that way we can put it under the broiler and get our dip all delicious. So now let's go ahead and add in the beans. And you also want to add in the um, sauce to the beans. You do not want to strain that at all. Mix it all in there. And you're going to let this simmer. So these flavors can marinate together. And once these beans cook down in the sauce, then we're gonna go ahead and come back and start adding our cheeses. Okay guys, now we're back. Now we're gonna go ahead and add um, some fresh Kobe Jack to or chili cheese mixture. Now normally we would eat this with cream cheese, but we don't have any. So we're gonna go ahead and add our cheese just like so. And you're gonna stir it in with the chili cheese sauce. I mean with the chili cheese dip. gonna keep stirring until that cheese melts. See?
Okay guys, so what we simply did was transfer it to another pan and we have added our cheese to the top and jalapenos. And we're just gonna go ahead with a little bit of red onion for color. And we're gonna put this under the broiler. Off clear, broil. Now we're gonna put this in the oven and then we'll take it out when it's ready so you can see the finished product. breaking through that mm. and you just take a bite enjoy